I am Christina McGoldrick with This Week in Santa Clarita. Right now we're here at the Santa Clarita Sports Complex with Doug Botton, Aquatics Administrator. Doug, we've got a lot of important safety tips to cover this summer when kids get into the swimming and getting into the city pools and stuff like that. Can you talk about a few of the tips we can give for people to be safe? Well, the first tip is uh, the number one rule of, of, of swimming, and that's never swim alone and never leave your little ones unattended at any point in time, um, especially in, in backyard pools. And another really, a really good one is never dive in shallow water. Spinal injuries can occur and do occur in, in shallow water diving incidents. And, um, and we have a couple that are around here that you might hear the lifeguards talk about a lot. Don't run on slippery decks. You hear the lifeguards talk about that a lot. Um, the, uh, don't bring glass containers anywhere around the pool when glass breaks. It, uh, especially if it's the clear kind, it hides and it can hide for years until an, an injury or an accident can occur, especially if it gets into the pool itself. It can stay there for a long time. Um, and if you are unsure of your swimming skills, um, wear a life jacket. It's okay to wear a life jacket in city pools, and uh, you should certainly have some around, in, around your backyard pool. So those, those are a couple of the big ones. I know you were mentioning earlier how um, drownings are common with kids five and under. What are some steps people can take to avoid that risk? Well, obviously, the number one step is to get them water safe at, at an early age, preferably around three years old. Most children are, are ready for some type of an organized swim lesson, and uh, the city offers a whole bunch at all of their aquatic facilities. But there can be, there's a bunch that are also offered around, um, in, in and around the community uh, as well, with private companies and some, some other public agencies. And kids 12 and over are also at a greater risk for drowning. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, the top five uh, accidental deaths that occur in this country every single year are under the age of five drowning and over the age of 12, 12 to, to 17 drowning. They are in the top five of, of accidental deaths. I believe the, uh, in 2008, I think there was over, over 4,000 drownings in, in the United States. Wow, I know people come out here, they practice their safety tips, you know, know your swimming skills, don't run around the edge of the pool, you know, don't bring glass to the pool, and, you know, just be safe. So when is the Aquatic Center open this summer for people to come out and enjoy some swimming time? The Aquatic Center is actually open for uh, 49 different programs, we like to say, 49 different aquatic-related programs. It actually opens it up at 5.30 a.m. for some of them, and we close at 8.30 at night. But what most folks are interested in is the recreational swim, which you're seeing behind us right now. And every day of the week is a little bit different, but generally, it's open from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Um, on Wednesdays, it does open at 11.30. On Fridays, it does open at 11. But gen generally, seven days a week, it's safe to say if you came here between 12 and 5, it would be open and, uh, and hundreds of kids having fun and parents. That's right. All right, well, you just heard a few safety tips from Doug Botton, Aquatics Administrator for the City of Santa Clarita. Check out santa-clarita.com for more tips on how to be safe this summer.